Welcome to the next resort tour. This time we're in St Lucia at Anne Chastney and Jade Mountain to show you around this five diamond resort. Now you guys are going to really enjoy this one. It's set in a stunning location just outside Soufri in St Lucia. Now we're going to take you around the restaurants, around a few rooms and also around the dive operations and show you some diving as well. So let's take you around the amazing resort of Anne Chastney, Jade Mountain in St Lucia. So when you arrive at the airport you will come out of arrival hall and there's a desk for Jade Mountain and Chastney with one of the staff members who will take your information, check off the sheet and will arrange a transport for you to the resort. It's all included so there's nothing to worry about. Once you arrive at the resort, you arrive at the halfway point. And when I say the halfway point, I mean halfway point up the hill because this is where reception is located. Just behind us, we have the Treehouse Bar, just over here where reception is located, and we also have the Treehouse Restaurant as well, where they serve food from, uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. And this is where the vegan menu is also located as well in the evenings, plus local Creole St. Lucian Caribbean dishes as well. Great, st stunning location, especially when you're sitting in the canopy of the trees in the rainforest of St. Lucia, and you really do feel like you're in a treehouse. So let's head over to the treehouse bar just now, and also to reception. So the upper area of the treehouse bar, there's two levels of it. You have the lower floor with the bar and the upper level, and the advantage of the upper level is you get stunning views over the ocean, like you can see just behind me, looking down the dive shop, the tennis courts, and the other rooms down there. Plus, you also get amazing views of the pitons as well. This is a great place at night to sit, have a few drinks and relax and enjoy your time, especially when there's live music playing up here as well. It's a perfect setting after a great night of eating amazing food. So when you arrive to check in, they will take your bags for you and they'll take your bags to your room. So you don't need to worry about that. It's a full service as you expect from a Five Diamond Resort. Now you come into the reception area or the lower part of the treehouse bar and you'll do all your paperwork and registration documents. Now what's really interesting about the resort, they give you these old like Nokia type phones. They don't have a SIM card in it, but these phones are able to be used around the entire resort. And what's really nice about that is if you need to call the operator, you can just call them at any point around the resort and they'll come cater to you. Even if that's if you've got the long walk back up the hilltop rooms, they'll send a truck down to you, a vehicle, to drive you up to the top as well. Or if you want to be driven down to the beach, they'll do that for you as well. So it's really nice service having these phones that work around the entire resort. You can only call the operator, but it makes your life so much easier. And if they need to get hold of you for something, you know, maybe you've asked for assistance, then they can call you as well to let you know how this issue or the item you've asked requested is coming on and being done for you. Maybe private dinner on the beach. So whatever you want, they will cater to it, which is amazing. That's why it's got such an amazing reputation. Now when you fill in your paperwork, they give you an orientation resort. And then when your room's ready, they'll take you up to your room to show you around, show you all the amenities in the room. It's a really nice touch. They just show you how everything works. And there's these iPads in there as well. We're going to see that later in the room because we're going to be showing you four rooms this trip. Now I moved, stayed in all these rooms during the week. So I stayed in the beach room, which is perfect. These are the ones with the air conditioning. Then I moved up to the ones at the Floresian that had amazing views right next to Jade Mountain, looking over the Pitons, and I've stayed in two other hillside rooms. They, each room is very unique in their own way, which you guys are going to see coming up when we show you the four different rooms that we stayed in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Treehouse Restaurant and show you around there. Now as we said, the Treehouse Restaurant is one of the popular restaurants here. There's three main restaurants. We have the Treehouse, we have Jade Mountain, and we also have the Beach Restaurant. Now this restaurant serves the vegan menu, plus it also serves Creole, St. Lucian type inspired cuisines, and a bit with a Caribbean twist. So you get a real authentic feel of St. Lucia at this restaurant. It is a stunning location at night, sitting there after your day of diving or activities, or just pampered relaxation on the beach with spas, you know, because this is a very popular honeymoon destination resort. It just gives you incredible views, especially at sunset. Now, one thing you can discover, which is great about the shuttle service taking you up and down from the beach up to your room, is if you don't, there's a lot of stairs. And I'm about to head down on the beach and you're going to see the steps. It's easy getting down, but after a long day on the beach, relaxing, enjoying yourself, the stairs can be a little bit of a killer. So that van service is definitely a nice addition to help you guys out. Now halfway down the stairs is this green building here under camouflage. 
This is the conference centre. It's an air-conditioned conference centre, which is great for events. Now at Kids Sea Camp, if you're on a week, especially when it comes to night dive, and we have the younger kids who cannot join a night dive, we do pizza movie night, which means the kids are supervised, while the parents can go for a dive, and the older kids can go for a dive as well. We were playing Lilo, uh, no, this week we were playing Sea Beast on from Netflix, a new series. So we played that for the kids to watch. It's air conditioned, as you can see in the overlays now. And we also play, had our turtle presentation as well by Carmen, which was amazing. Amazing experience using this as a facility that they have on resort for all your events as well, or just for one off evening events to look after the kids or do presentation talks. Plus, there's a kitchen there so they can serve you food as well, as we did pizza movie night. This is halfway up the hill. We've got to continue going down the stairs to the beach. So as we make our way down the stairs and reaching the beach, the first thing you come across, apart from the incredible view, is the beach hut just behind me. This beach hut here set so has towels for you guys so you can have towels or extra towels and they'll help sort any activities you want to do as well. The main water activity centre is at the dive shop but this is a great little spot for you if you need some help with some stuff as well. Maybe if you want some kayaks or just need some extra towels they'll help sort you out and arrange that for you. So as you probably noticed the sand is black and the reason for that is because it's volcanic island. This is volcanic sand very common in a lot of the islands, especially like Dominique as well, which is two islands over with black sand because it's volcanic sand. Now, it is absolutely stunning, the beach layout, as you can see behind me, and it's in the overlay as well. This is a great place to just relax, enjoy yourself on your holiday after a great day of diving or a day of pampering of cocktails and relaxing on your honeymoon as well. It is stunning and you get an amazing sunset from down on the beach as well. We're going to head over to the beach restaurant just now to show you that. So we arrived at the beach restaurant. Now it's also the beach bar as well where they'll serve cocktails for you, drinks, milkshakes, smoothies as well and real smoothies and milkshakes with ice cream and also fruit as well which is a really nice touch, especially after a great day of activities. Now, what we also have is the restaurant behind us where they have generally live music every night and it's a stunning setting to sit and enjoy your meals. Now, the cuisine here is normally Indian, but they also have vegetarian options as well. They do mix the menu up, but this is normally the Indian themed restaurant and they have some other dishes, especially from the grill. They have some big grills with some big fire pits to cook you up some steak, lobster, whatever you want as well on the menu. So there's options so you don't need to worry if you're not the biggest fan of Indian. They do have other dishes on the menu to keep look after you. Also, if you need anything else or specifically requests, they're very willing to cater to your requests as well. Now we held our closing ceremony here and it was an amazing setup where we had karaoke last night. I think everyone had a great time, but it's an amazing setup and it's a very unique lighting. Especially in your beach around the resort, you can notice the lighting is very red or yellow, lower lights. The reason for that is this beach is actually a turtle nesting area. Now what that means is turtles come up, leatherbacks, foxbills, the green sea turtles, they will actually come up and lay their eggs on this beach and then they'll leave. Now the reason they have the lighting low is because when those turtles hatch after a few months, the turtles will head towards the ocean where the moon is shining bright on a reflection. Now if we have bright light or really bright light, the turtles will actually head towards the property instead of the ocean. And we don't want that, especially when turtles are endangered. So they have lower lighting to ensure the turtles can't see that lighting because they can't see the red or dark yellow lights. So they then head towards the ocean instead. So if you're ever wondering why the lighting's a bit more dimmed, that's the reason why. They're very aware and Chastney Jade Mountain about ocean conservation, which is fantastic. After heading through the beach restaurant, you come to the spa and the art gallery. And I should also mention in the uh, beach restaurant, they have two boutique local shops with really nice local uh, products and t-shirts, but local nice jewelry. And also they make their own chocolate, which is world famous and Chastney, and you can buy the chocolate bars. And they do chocolate tasting as well, which we did a few times, which was amazing. Now behind us, we have the spa. They offer a full service treatment, hot stone massages, full body, mani pedis, especially a chocolate themed one which is a unique twist, but they're famous for the chocolate. So of course they have a chocolate mani pedi as well, which our guests, a few of them did and absolutely loved it. Now we have the art gallery as well, just behind us, which has amazing art. And our kids got involved in painting some items. I'll put some pictures up for you guys here so you can see that. So there's a lot for you to do at this property and resort. 
Now we're arriving at the real heart of this resort, the dive center and the water activities. So let's take you around and show you Scuba St. Lucia. Now it's very hard to miss the dive center when you're looking on the beach because it is so colorful. It looks like the ocean, it's a nice touch, but you cannot miss it. Now the managers here at the moment are Carmen and Adam from Romania and the UK. Amazing people and they have their local dive crew as well, all from St. Lucia. Some of them have been working here for six years up to 24 years. Most of them have been here for about 15 to 18. So if they've been here that long, you know they enjoy it, you know they've been treated well and it's just an incredible atmosphere here. The local instructors are amazing, the guides, the captains are awesome and the dive management are awesome. Now they can do anything you want, they take sunset cruises on the Babsy boat, they have dive boats as well, we'll take you out for two tank trips or a one tank trip in the afternoon or they do individual one, two, three tanks. Now also at the resort you have the Anchastney Reef. Now this is their house reef, it's a beautiful dive as it's just behind me right here. You enter from the shore and you head out towards the little sloping wall and then run uh, with the reef on your left shoulder or right depending on what the current's doing. Always swim into the current and then let the current drop you back if there is a current. Sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. But you have to be very careful to not go beyond the point, especially with strong current. So if the current's picking up, it's best to head back in as well, just for your own safety. But the diving here is incredible. We're going to run some footage of the house reef where you can do day dives and night dives here as well. And we had some stingrays, loads of peacock flounders, eels, there's seahorses just off the, literally in like two meters of water. It's an incredible house reef, so much life. I'm going to run some footage of that for you guys right now. As you can see, it's a spectacular dive and that's the house reef. So when you book on for some fun diving and you go out to the walls, the diving's even more spectacular, especially like Coral Gardens, or we have a Grand Kai, you have Superman Flight, which is where they filmed Superman years ago, where he jumped off and flew past the pitons. That dive is awesome, because you can get a fast moving current, and you feel like a Superman flying through it as well. There's turtles, there's so much life out there, and the coral, honestly, is probably one of the healthiest corals in the Caribbean now. It's well worth the trip over. Now, the dive center, it is a fully serviceable dive center. They have snorkel gear for you to rent and go in the snorkel park for the marine park. Uh, they have a little section off marine park for you to snorkel. But then the diving, we have full service dive gear. You can rent anything you want. You do not need to bring anything. There's lights available. You can even rent cameras. You can rent computers. Everything you need is right here. And if you want to go for a short dive and need a guide, they'll arrange that for you as well. They offer nitrox and air as well. They also have fresh water on the boat and if you're in a dive group, they put cakes on the boat for you as well, which is a nice touch, all about that service and experience and you don't need to worry about your gear going across the boats or coming back. They do that all for you. You just got to take your fins and your wetsuits. It is a fully serviceable dive centre for you. Now what I have behind me here is the dunk tanks. And they have signs on it, wetsuits and BCD kit. So if you want to give your kit an extra rinse, you're able to do that, but they wash your gear for you after every dive and then they hang it up in the racks in the locker room as well. So everything is there hung up and drying for you as well each day. So when you come the next day, your gear's all ready for you. Now another thing that's really nice is they have lockers as well. So you can put your um, personal belongings that you don't want to take on a boat in a locker and padlock it up as well. And then you leave the key behind reception. So locker 54 goes to key hook. 54 so you always remember where your stuff is but it's a nice touch they really look after you here they have o2 kits they have first aid kit they have all the safety equipment and they have a reputation for being extremely safe especially being at such a luxurious resort it's definitely worthwhile we've brought kids sea camp here for two weeks and it's been we will come here every year and this was our home for kids sea camp during covid as well they're amazing you guys will enjoy it and they have so much more to offer them especially in the activity center they do jungle biking as well, where they'll take you across to the other beach, Anne's Meme, where we can have beach parties. It's another private beach, more secluded, nice little bar for you. You can also walk to it as well, it's about a 10 minute walk. But what's really cool is you have the plantation walk tour there, and go through the old plantations, and a really interesting tour. Plus, you have the jungle biking, where you go biking around the jungle on a loop, and there's different levels of routes, easy to more challenging. So they have everything here for you guys to enjoy your holiday. Now, let's head towards the tennis courts and the beach room. 
Just before we head over to the beach rooms, I was going to take you just across here, just behind the dive shop, is they have jungle showers in the bathrooms. So if you want to go get rinsed off before lunch, they have fresh water showers here to get salt water off you and then put some dry clothes on. There's some change rooms just nearby as well, so you can then be dry for your lunch. And as we were talking about earlier, we were talking about the lighting. As you can see here, all the lights and all of them behind me all have little or are covered in red filters to make, as I said before, is to protect all nesting grounds. Now we actually have uh, two nesting grounds happening right this moment. Can't tell you where they are and there's a reason for that is because locally people will go up and dig up the nest and take the eggs to eat. So they keep them quiet, secretive when the turtle nests them. So as we said before, it's very important to keep the turtles and make sure everything's good and safe for them. Now we've also got to be careful as well because it is a public beach. All beaches in St. Lucia are public, so that's why you see signs everywhere saying patrons of the scuba centre or the resort hotel only in these areas because you don't want people to come in. So be very careful to leave your valuables because at night locals come, uh, other people come in and you just don't want to be careful in case anything gets taken. Now also they have security on site to make sure that doesn't happen, but things happen as we know in any country you are. So always be careful leaving valuables around, especially that it's a public beach at night and during the day as well. So also in the resort, they have the tennis courts, which we're on just now, and they also have painted on goals. So if you want to play football as well, I'm saying football because that's the correct word, not soccer, as some of our American subscribers will call it. It's football, the real name for it. And we have the tennis courts here. You're able to rent tennis rackets and balls from the hut where you get the towels from. You can get the tennis rackets and tennis balls from there, and you guys can come and have a game, especially during the day when it's beautiful, or in the morning when it's a little bit cooler. It's a great place for the kids to chill and hang as well. But now we're right next to the beach rooms, so let's take you to our very first room in the tour, the beach room. I was in 9B the first couple of days, and the van says they're air conditioned. So let's take you across to the beach rooms and show you the first of the room. So if you ever feel you're getting lost in the resort or can't remember where your room is, they have signs at each intersection pointing out which rooms are in this section. So if you're ever unsure which room you're in or can't remember which am I the left, second left or third left, just check the signs when you get to your room and that will help you get you there. As you can see from the rooms, this is a beach room, it is stunningly set up, giving that real Caribbean St. Lucian vibes. You have stunning views at every room in this resort and when you move into the rooms you have really nice styling and decor inside. Now the good thing with the beach rooms is they're air conditioned and they have fans. All the other rooms have fans as well but don't have air conditioning because they're normally open planned. And then here, as I mentioned earlier, the iPad. This iPad controls everything in the room and it also controls requests as well. So you can make requests for servicing, pickup, anything you want can all be done from that iPad. So they have authentic Caribbean vibes with a modern touch as well to make your stay even better. The chargers in the room are American and also UK plugs which is actually quite nice. You can use either or during your stay. And they also have their own products for yourself to use, which get changed every day for yourself. Now, as you can see, the beach rooms are absolutely stunning. They are enclosed, air conditioning, fans, amazing rooms. And you're gonna be surprised with the other rooms because that room is the lower level ones, but they have aircon, which is amazing. But when you go up top, you don't have aircon. We have fans, but the views become spectacular. So let's head up. We've got to take up all those stairs again, or as I said, call on the little phone to have the van pick you up, take his room. We're going to head to our second room of the week, which is Florisian, right next to Jade Mountain. Gives you some of the most spectacular views you're ever going to see, especially the pitons. So let's head to Jade, uh, let's head to the Florisian room next. So as we make our way up the hill to our Florisian room, 
as I said, you can get the transport up. Arrange it, take you up. Otherwise, it's a bit of a walk, but honestly, sometimes it's good for your fitness. And then we are gonna show you the Florisian room, and then we're gonna show you the second room after, which is 14A we were in, and then also 2B as well, another room. We were in four rooms this week. We're gonna show you all four. Now we move into the Florisian room. And this room I loved just mainly for the view. As you can see, it is open planned, but look at that view waking up to the pitons every morning. Just absolutely loved waking up to that view. And honestly, if you're staying up in Jade Mountain, you get those views as well, because Jade Mountain is part of this resort, which you can see just above me here. Now the rooms, again, are well decored. They all have a slight different twist. One of the rooms I had actually had a swing in it, so they all have a little twist for their own styles, which is really nice as well when you're staying in different rooms of the resort. Okay, here we are at our fourth and final room, 2B Helicona. As I said, it's the beach rooms, they have signs pointing out to the rooms. Now let's head towards our fourth and final room and show you around. Again, as you can see, all the rooms have been amazing and this one is no exception. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming round and exploring and Chastney Jade Mountain Resort in St. Lucia with us. As you can see, the pitons are just behind me and as you saw when we had the Floresian room, the view we had was spectacular. Now this is a Kids Sea Camp location, this is one location we use and we've just run two weeks here this summer and we've had an incredible time, all the guests have loved it and if this is a resort that you'd love to come to then check out familydivers.com or check out the number above to give them a call and hopefully you guys can come on a Kids Sea Camp week in St Lucia as well. It was spectacular, you saw how amazing the reef was and the diving was but as always guys, thank you so much and we'll see you in the next resort tour. And they have a helicopter and helipad for you to make your own way to and from the resort as we head, leaving the resort, to back there.